It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What's up guys? Um, just got done doing a little bit of DoorDash real quick. Uh, I like to go during lunchtime. I don't know, it just relaxes me and uh, get a couple of orders. I did three orders. I made uh, $16.75 and then that's what I did with it. I bought uh, 50 something thousand Satoshis. But what I decided to do today was kind of step my game up and everyone that I saw personally that dealt with me, I, I gave them some, some Bitcoin or Satoshis. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Um, first of all, let me let me get you updated. Uh, my next video is going to be about the situation that happened to me at the coin shop the other day or yesterday. Um, Neil he reached out to me, um, the owner of the, the shop. And the only reason I'm saying his name is because they left a, <laughs> a comment underneath that video. You can go watch it or go look at it. Watch that video, too, if you haven't seen it. And uh, he apologized and he sent me an email. I'm not going to say what he said in the email, but let's just say he's ready to give me a good deal and water under the bridge and bygones be bygones. So when I first got into this space, learning about real money and finances and stuff like that, not the Ponzi scheme that we've all been taught about the fiat fiat currency, which is the green papers that we, we've all learned about. I'm talking about real hard money, like gold, silver, platinum, Bitcoin. I wanted people to know about it so bad, I was giving away a lot of silver. And I thought it was efficient because I was like, well, I can't give away gold because the gold's too much and blah, blah, blah. So I was giving away, you know, constitutional silver. I was giving away ounces, but that stuff adds up. And plus, as much as I love silver, I know that we're moving towards a more technological digital age. So I think Bitcoin is the right way to do it. So one of my subscribers showed me how to download a wallet because I always had a Bitcoin wallet, a, ha a hard wallet, a cold storage, um, you know, offline. But now this one, I have a, a hot wallet on my phone, the Moon Wallet, M-U-U-N Wallet. And with that, that's, that's changed my life. And I thank you again. He gave me some Satoshis too. So what I do now is <clears throat> I ask people, hey, have you heard of Bitcoin? All of them say, yeah. And then I say, you know, do you have any? They say, no. And then I say, well, I want to give you some. And they kind of look at me like, what? Who'd you talking about? <laughs> I said, do me a favor, download the Moon Wallet. And then they'll download and they'll kind of look at me all weird and stuff. I'm like, who is this guy? Is he trying to steal something from me? Because normally people just don't walk up and tell you, tell someone they want to give you something. <laughs> it's always, it's always something. I, I understand. It. I'm, I'm very aware of that. But as they're doing, I ask them, I say, hey, do you know what Bitcoin is? You know, what is it? And then I get all different kind of answers. You know, I get, oh, it's uh, it can go up, it can go down. You know, I can make money off it. It's a, it's an investment, it's like a stock. Some people say what it is, internet money. The last lady I saw, I just funny, I orange pilled, orange pill means put some money on the Bitcoin, show them what it is. Uh, I went to a certain restaurant, picked up the food, taught, gave him some Satoshis. He already knew about it. He already knew about Bitcoin because his dad had it. Had him download the Moon Wallet, took the, took the, gave him some, took the order, went to this person's house, and the last person I just saw, I gave her some. And she, you know, she heard of Bitcoin, but she really didn't know what it was. And I said, come on, tell me, you know, tell me what it is. How, how you doing if you're watching my video too? I said, tell me what it is. And she said, internet money? I said, exactly. That's exactly what it is. The problem is our money is broken and nobody knows what's going on. And they don't know that we're going from one uh, paradigm shift to another, from the fiat to Bitcoin. And so while they're downloading now, you know, small talk with them, whatever. And then when they pull it up, I zap it right to them. I usually do about a thousand sets, 1,000 Satoshis. That's my number. And the reason I do that is because it's a nice round number, first of all. And lightning goes like that. Um, you know, I would do 100 sats, but I don't even think you, the increment's too small for lightning. So I think you gotta do 1,000 sats, which is fine. You know what I mean? But when you, when, you, when you give to someone, it's not about giving them the sats, it's about making an agreement. Meaning, okay, now that I showed you what this is, I want you to do me a favor. 
And I tell him this. I said, I want you to learn about it and I want you to get some more, you know? And if you want to go to my channel, you can and, I, and I'll teach you about it. I'm not the guru or nothing. It's just, you'll have a face because I'm the guy that gave it to you and you can listen to me. But don't listen to me, listen to the people that really know what's going on. I'm new, I'm about two and a half years in, into Bitcoin. Now, let me say this to you new Bitcoiners, people that I just uh, gave some Satoshis to. This is specifically for you, or if you just got into Bitcoin, if you don't know. <clears throat> Bitcoin right now is a, take, is a savings technology. Don't look at it as trading it in for something else. Just buy it and hold it, okay? And I'll get into more detail in a few more videos, but just keep buying it, a dollar here, two bucks there. Buy it on an exchange. You can buy it on Cash App. You can buy it on different crypto or Bitcoin exchanges. Bitcoin's not crypto, by the way. And then what you do is once you get a certain amount of Satoshis, you take those Satoshis and put them on your wallet because you own that. If you keep it on the ex exchange, you don't. On, on Cash App is an exchange. And I'll get to more into that. I know it's a lot. But what a Satoshi is, because I gave you a thousand of them, if you're new, is it's an increment of Bitcoin. Now, if you look at the at Bitcoin while you're watching this video, Bitcoin will say 28,000, 29,000 a coin. And the reason why a lot of people don't buy it because they think it's too expensive. They go, oh, Bitcoin's too expensive. I could buy Ethereum, it's only 1,500, or Solana's only 50 cents, or whatever other shit coin. Because everything else is shit, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'll get into that in another video. But you can buy it in increments. You can buy it in any dollar amount that you want. I think it's anything over a dollar. <clears throat> and what a Satoshi is, it's named after a, the pseudo name of the person that created Bitcoin, the persons or per people. Satoshi Nakamoto, that's that person's name. Look that up, Satoshi Nakamoto. Read the Bitcoin white paper, do that too. The Bitcoin white paper and learn all about it. Now it's gonna take you a long time. I tell people, while you're learning, just keep buying a little bit here and there. And the more you get comfortable with it, the better. 100 hours will do you good too, but it's gonna take you a few months or, you know, to really understand it or something like that. Or some of you might be smart and just, just get it. But it's a lot to learn because it's a whole new money system, okay? Because right now our money system is broken. So when you when I gave you those Satoshis, or those Satoshis that you have right now, it takes 100 million Satoshis for one Bitcoin, okay? And today, if you're listening to this, and if I gave you some, you got a thousand of them. Now that may not seem like anything right now. It may seem like 30 cents or whatever it is today. Let me tell you something, in the future, that a thousand Satoshis is gonna get you a lot. It's all about the purchasing power, ladies and gentlemen. Inflation is simple as this. When the government prints more money than goods and supplies, they just print it. For instance, inflation is you got money out there or cash or fiat currency or whatever chasing less goods. There's more dollars chasing lesser goods because they don't, they don't, inflation, the money supply is more than the supplies out there, right? So they're not making as many cars as they're printing money and stuff like that. So the dollar used to be, the US dollar used to be backed by gold, it's not anymore. So they can just print out whatever they want. Did you notice 10, 20, 30 years ago, things costed less? The reason why is the, the, the item or the, the thing that you're buying is the same. Nothing's changed except that there's more dollars chasing less goods because there's more dollars being printed, thus not increasing the prices, but bringing the value of that dollar down, okay? The reason why things are precious or cost a lot or whatever is because there's a less supply of them. It's all about supply and demand. You have precious metals, gold and silver, right? The reason why they cost more than metal or steel or concrete or copper or something like that because those are all like common metals. If a meteorite came down with a big meteorite of silver and gold, what do you think will happen to the price of silver and gold? It would go down because the supply would increase. That's the same thing with the with the dollar bills that are getting printed out like it's nothing. My grandmother in 1988, she bought a house for $108,000. That same house about a year ago sold for 328,000. Nothing changed on the house except it got older, it got more used, and there's more dollars chasing that house. So guys, listen, learn about money. You know the money's broken. You know everything's going up. The prices are going up because the money supply is going up. Your dollar in your pocket is, is losing value every single day. 
When you buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin does the complete opposite. There are only 21 million Bitcoin that'll ever be made. There are two things I can guarantee you in my life. One that I'll die and the other that there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. And those are what's the two things that I can only value as my life and my Bitcoin. So it is the only fixed supply asset, Kelly. It's not that complicated. It's going to go up because everything else can be issued more. Bitcoin is the only monetary instrument in the history of our species that is fixed. It does not matter how much more demand comes into the asset class, Kelly. No one will ever be able to make more of it. About 19, almost 19 and a half million Bitcoin have been mined right now. Again, you'll learn about that. I'm just giving you a framework. Um, it's a fixed supply. Every single day, there's a certain amount of Bitcoin being mined into the system. We have no idea how many dollars are being printed every day. So we're talking about a closed system with Bitcoin and it's finite. They can't make it anymore. It's absolute finite. It's not scarce like gold and silver. You can find more gold and silver other places. It's gonna be hard, but you can find it, but you can't make any more than 21 million Bitcoin. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, I'll keep you guys posted. If you have any questions, hit me up. Okay, I'm here for you. Again, I'm not a guru. I'm just a guy here on the internet. Um, trying to do the best I can to save our society and save our country, man. Because uh, right now our country's going to shit. And we need to do something about this. And instead of standing around complaining about it, uh, we need to go ahead and fix the number one problem. And that's our money. I love each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.